If you make mistakes in this process, it can hurt you for decades. If you do it correctly though, you will, no joke, be the happiest person that's ever lived and nothing will ever bother you again. The process that I'm talking about is obviously buying a home. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 things that you should be looking for when you're looking to purchase a home, specifically in Alaska. These are going to be the things that I actually coach my clients on when they're looking to purchase a property in Alaska. Before we get started though, make sure that you give me a thumbs up on this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and make sure you hit the little bell right over there. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the 10 things that you should be looking at when you're purchasing property in Alaska. Number one, road accessibility. Might sound a little strange, but bear with me here. Not all roads in Alaska are maintained by the municipality or the borough or whatever the, the government is in the area. Make sure that you are comfortable with whoever is going to be maintaining the road, okay? so. Keep in mind, you might be buying during the summertime, but during the winter time, who's gonna be plowing the road? Who's gonna be keeping it accessible, okay? Make sure you're looking for that. Number two, septic tanks, okay? A lot of, a lot of homes in Alaska, not all of them, obviously, we do have cities, but a lot of cities, in, okay? A lot of, a lot of homes in Alaska, not all of them, obviously, we do have cities, but a lot of cities, in, or a lot of homes in Alaska have septic tanks. Okay, there is a, a lot of rules that go along with this, um, specifically with the municipality of Anchorage. If a septic tank is 30 years or older, it's gotta be excavated out of the ground, visually inspected. Essentially, it's gotta be replaced at that point. So, septic tanks is just something you've gotta be aware of that, you know, what it is, what its pros and cons are, and see if it's something you're comfortable with. A lot of people come in from out of state, they're not comfortable with it, but after talking about it for a little bit, they're like, "Now oh, this is fine. Okay, not, not a big deal. So, just gotta be aware of that though. Number three, sun exposure, okay? Keep in mind, you might be buying the property during the winter time, or sorry, during the summertime where there's lots of sunlight, but you need to be kind of cognizant of how much sun exposure you're going to be getting during the winter months, okay? So look out there, get a pretty good feel for, you know, how the sun's gonna be going across the horizon. It's not really a all the way up and over. It's more of this kind of lazily going across the, the sunrise, going across the sky right there. If it's all blocked by mountains, it's gonna be a little dark. If you're fine with that, great. Um, if it's not, then it might be a good idea to go find something in a, in a different location. Number four, wildlife, okay? People come to Alaska because they love the nature, they love the lifestyle, and you get a lot of wildlife up here, which is great. Make sure that you're kind of comfortable with the level of wildlife that you're gonna be getting, okay? Um, if you're not comfortable with bears tromping through your yard, with the potential of, um, of wolves being in the area, of you know moose kind of come in and just doing whatever they they feel like doing then you might want to look for something that's a little bit closer on the inner city where you're not going to be having those issues okay so just understand what's what's going on with wildlife in the area that you're going to be purchasing a home number five pay attention to the steepness of the driveway okay are you buying a property during the summertime again this is something you need to be need to be aware of. So if you have a, a driveway that is super steep and you're purchasing it during the summertime, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Um, if you're it's during the winter time though, you gotta remember that driveway is gonna be a little bit slicker and it might be a little challenging getting out of the driveway and it might be a little challenging sometimes going slowly down so you don't end up ramming into the, into the garage. Not saying homes with steep driveways is bad, you just gotta be aware of what you're getting into. Has this been useful for you so far? If it has, make sure you comment down below with a thing that has been most useful. Tip number six of things that you need to be looking for when you're purchasing a home in Alaska, okay? Be aware 
of the area and how well it sells. If you need to sell again, like let's say you're military and you're looking at selling again in about you know two to three years, then you need to be aware, okay, do homes sell quickly in this area? Um, if they don't, then you, know, you just gotta know that ahead of time and make sure it's not a surprise for you in a couple of years because that's not the spot that you wanna be in. Number seven, earthquake cracks. Homes are built a little bit differently in Alaska, okay? They are not rigid structures that are designed just to stay in place no matter what. No, they are built to actually sway with the ground a little bit, okay? Which is great because, you know, earthquakes. Now, what that does do is it does give us a number of cosmetic cracks in the drywall. Once you've lived here for a while, you'll, you'll start seeing it all over the place and be like, oh yeah, that's not that big of a deal. So when you're going around and you're previewing properties and you see a crack in the wall, um, don't overreact. Typically that's, it's just a drywall crack and it's easy to, to get taken care of. Number eight, pay attention to the CCNRs. <clears throat> If you are wanting to come to Alaska in order to raise chickens or do a sled dog team or do whatever you want out there on your big piece of land with no worries at all on what other people are gonna be doing, pay attention to the CCNRs to make sure that you can actually do that, okay? There are sp very specific CCNRs sometimes that say you can't have a sled dog team over here or you can't have chickens or something very specific. So make sure that you check that out before you go and move forward on a property. Item number 10, make sure you have a healthy dose of wariness around homes that are adjacent to big thoroughfares in developing areas. The Matsu Valley, that's uh, about 30, 40 minutes up the road, has a lot of homes. Half the homes that are built in Alaska are built in the Matsu Valley, which is significant because only 14% of the population lives there. So you need to pay a lot of attention to the big thoroughfare roads that are in the area. If you have a home you're considering and it is right next to one of those roads and it's a developing area, you have good reason to suspect the population is gonna continue to grow rapidly in that area, you gotta remember that home, that road is likely to expand, if not sooner than later, okay? So what that means is you might end up losing a chunk of the property or you might end up losing it altogether, depending on how much of the land they end up taking, if they take any of your, any of your septic and leach field. So that's something to really be aware of. So thank you for watching. If this has been useful, make sure that you give me a thumbs up Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, you hit the little bell over there, and also make sure that you comment with any questions down below. And keep in mind, this is just kind of scratching the surface. So if you do have any questions or concerns, make sure that you comment. And also, make sure that you um, subscribe to my website that I'm gonna be posting down in the comments section down below.